It was a 16th region homecoming when UPike visited KCU Monday night, and the former West Carter standout Allie Stone says she was excited for the reunion. It's going to be great. You know, I haven't seen a lot of these people since I did play in high school, and just hear them in the stands again, it's, it's just going to, it's going to be great for me. Stone rewrote the record books at West Carter before becoming a Bear, but has already found some similarities after moving from shooting guard to point guard this season. Exact same thing. My first three years I was shooting guard, and then my last year I was point guard. So, you know, everything's been kind of steady for me. Stone led the Bears with 21 points, including 12 in the first quarter. Julia Parker was excited to get back close to home after leaving her mark with the Ashland Kittens. Yeah, it's awesome. This is the closest that I've been to playing at home in the four years that I've been here, so it's cool to get to come and know that like my family's going to be able to make it and come and watch us play. Stone shared the court with Reagan Atkins and Kylie Gillum while at West and was excited to battle against Gillum in the game. I mean, this is awesome. You know, I'm going to see lots of familiar faces in the stands, and, you know, I'm playing against my old teammates tonight, so it's just really special for me. Greenup County standout Rachel Bush is off to a hot start with the Bears and has gained the trust of her coach early in her career. Oh, it's great. Coach always tells me that he always believes in me whether I play good or whether I play bad, and I'm really just thankful that I know I chose the right school. Bush added eight points and a team-high seven rebounds off the bench. She also dished out four dimes in the win and hopes that her high level of play gains some notoriety at the end of the season. I kind of want to be on the make like a freshman team or something and then just have fun, I guess. Field straight away, 15 on the shot clock. Starts to attack on Kidd off the glass. No. Rachel Bush with a rebound, turns, forces it back up, and one. And a chance at a three point play for the freshman from Greenup. Now Dalton tries to go inside, and Rachel Bush with that height advantage over top over the six footer takes it away. Allie Stone attacks the rim off the glass. No, left it short. Bell Sparks tried to swat it back out to someone and does so, but does it right to Rachel Bush. Parker had a good night as well, going four for five from downtown for 14 points, and hopes one of the big goals is still in the works for the Bears by season's end. The conference championship would be awesome. Um, just going as far as we can. This is like the last run for me. So. Stone and Bush added three steals each as the Bears swiped 15 balls in the game. Upike also torched the nets from downtown, connecting on 16 of 33 triples in the win, which opened up the driving lanes for Stone to attack the rim. Here's Stamper. Try to go out wide. Rachel Bush pulls the trigger. Three's on the way. Good. Rachel Bush from downtown. Stone into the front court. Comes off the left side. Running that little weave out top. Now Stone wants to attack. Draws the contact in one. Allie Stone. And the sophomore finishes for a chance at a three-point play. Stone admits she has only one goal in her sights for the Bears. I would like to win a conference championship. That is goal number one. I would like a ring. The local trio of Bears had a successful night in Grayson before heading back US 23 winners. Julia Parker wants to answer. She'll pull the trigger and do so. Holly Stone inside of two to play in the ballgame. West chasing Stone. Stone attacks. Draws the contact and the finish. Holly Stone does it again. Ninety-four, sixty-six. Allie Stone will dribble it out here in front of the faithful that's made the trip over to see the former West Carter player make the trip to Grayson. For Cool TV, I'm James Collier.